Hey guys, welcome to another PHP tutorial. Uh, just before we get started, there's one more program that I need you guys to download, and that's Notepad2. So make sure you get that program. Uh, just type Notepad2 in, into Google, and you should be able to find it and download it. And the reason why we want Notepad2 is because um, there are some features within it that's going to help us with editing code um, that's better than Notepad, that's better than the original Notepad that comes with Windows. So make sure you get that and uh, unzip it and run it or whatever it is that you've got to do to get it working. Okay, so uh, at the end of last lesson, uh, you should have uh, learned how to start XAMPP and uh, obviously you would have uh, uh, started the control panel as well so make sure that it's running and everything so uh, your computer has a, a web server that's running um, and uh, make sure that uh, when you type in uh, localhost into your browser um, it comes up with uh, this XAMPP for Windows alright so that shows that um, your web server is uh, activated okay so now um, what we want to do is edit uh, is to uh, make a page inside your web server so if you go to the XAMPP folder under C drive XAMPP uh, go into htdocs htdocs go into that and you'll see that there's a file called index.html and index.php and basically uh, these two are the default uh, files that come with XAMPP that lead you into this folder All right when we type in localhost so what we want to do is uh, we won't touch those files for now but we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna create a new document a new text document in this folder and I want I want to call this document test dot uh, PHP test.php and I'm gonna delete everything after it and uh, I'm gonna press enter uh, if you want to change a file name extension press yes now test.php I'm gonna open it in notepad 2 so make sure you have the notepad 2 program open and just drag the test.php into notepad 2 and now notepad2 is editing this test.php file and the first uh, PHP code that I want you to type um, actually is an HTML code and that is because you pretty much need to understand HTML uh, well the basics of it uh, before we um, start learning PHP so I'm just gonna type in HTML and that signifies that within this document there's gonna be some HTML code and then body and that means that here is the opening tag uh, which means the start of the document and slash body means the end of the document and I'm gonna type in here uh, h1 which means heading 1 so the font size is going to be big and I'm going to type it within this tag my first PHP document and I want you to save this and then I want you to open it up by going to your web browser and type localhost localhost slash test.php and if you press enter 
you will see that it says my first PHP document. All right, so basically right now this is just a bit of HTML right now. Okay, so uh, we won't type any PHP code in this tutorial just yet. I'm just going to introduce you guys to a bit more HTML. So basically HTML tags have a start tag and an end tag and in between are the elements that the tag is going to affect. So for example, if I type in uh, another tag, let's say uh, font size equal uh, font color equals red and within this opening tag I type some words let's say I say hello and I save it and then I refresh it in my um, PHP document we just have two windows open so it's slightly quicker and I refresh it here you can see the words hello in red okay and then let's say I want to create a link to Google what I can do is uh, I can type a uh, qu uh, quotation mark a h r e f equals uh, quotation mark http slash slash google dot com close the quotation mark close the bracket and I type a link to google uh, so what happens is the opening tag says I'm gonna create a link to google here's a text that links to google here's the end of the tag and I save this document, control S to save. In my browser, I click refresh, and here is that link to Google. So here is a very, very quick HTML tutorial. Uh, I'd suggest that you have a look at my other HTML tutorials to learn more about it um, before you go on with PHP. Otherwise, if you are fairly confident with HTML, then you can go to my uh, next lesson on PHP. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.